Oh. You know what? Actually, never mind. I have to do that a lot. I'll like look, you know, it'll be like a loose shirt and I'll see the chest hair like in the thing and I'm like, oh, I probably got to pull that up because it's just so it's so offensive. Well, you know what? Honestly, when it's cold, I'm warmer than you. So get on my level. The problem is I grew up in Florida, so I was just hot all the time. But now we live in a more northern climate, one with green lights instead of blue. Ha. Thanks, guys. Greenland instead of Z. That should have been the name of the channel as a missed opportunity. But we are talking about West Brom today, and to catch you up on the lore here, the manager of West Brom, Carlos Corberan, uh, he accidentally kicked the ball while it was in play. But this is a lesson about the persuasive nature of the internet, and less so about the fact that Carlos Corberan kicked the ball in the first place, which I found hilarious. I'd never seen a manager kick the ball in play before. It raised all sorts of questions in my mind, like this is apparently something you can do and only get a red card for. Uh, like, could you just hire extra coaches from non-league and just have them, you know, be your, they, they spring off the bench and stop a breakaway once every four matches and just take their red card suspension? You're a big Premier League club, you pay them 50000 a year, no skin off your back, and you've got four coaches that are working on rotation giving you one stopped breakaway per match. I'm assuming the league would start fining you and start issuing longer suspensions. But I mean, if you're really desperate to win, then there's one breakaway going on. You can just fly out there with a slide tackle with your dress pants on and just get a red card and leave. Like that's apparently something you can do. But when I was exposed to this for the first time, I opened Twitter. I didn't see the incident. I don't watch the championship. I live in the United States. I don't have a club in the championship and I have a life sometimes. At least I leave this room like once a day. And I, th that takes up a lot of time, you know, to build up the energy to stand up and then, you know, map out where I'm going to go, accidentally open Instagram and Twitter and, and TikTok for like 17 hours and then go where I'm going to go. And then I have to come back and then I have to grunt like an old man and sit down again. It takes up a lot of time. So I'm not watching the championship, but I did see on Twitter like, oh, this guy got sent off for uh, a, a red card. And I, I saw tweets like this. I saw tweets like this from from Stokey G2, right? Then obviously Stokey is not like you know, my boy George here. He's not the, the paragon of journalistic virtue, but he is somebody on Twitter that a lot of people at least see, some listen to, right? Anyways, he's saying something embarrassing decision. Ball was basically out. Ball was also going nowhere. Another referee desperate for power and attention. This is not the only tweet that came out like this, right? And because I have my location, as you can see, I couldn't actually see the video. I was going to have to go seek it out. And like I said, I had a very busy schedule of standing up, scrolling through Instagram, you know, all that fun stuff. So I did not look up the video at the time. But for whatever reason, today, Saturday, I had nothing better to do. And I decided I was going to actually go look at this video that had the internet in a bit of an uproar for 12 hours before it moved on to the latest Greatest Kardashian happening. And I was very surprised because this is the actual video. I know this because uh, Southampton's TikTok account sent it out. Men in Blazers posted it on Twitter. So I got a hold of it. This is the actual video. And the ball is like, okay, apparently you can't hit space bar to pause here. It nearly goes out, but I think it's very, very clear, right? That this ball does not go out of play. It's still on the line. And I think what's particularly striking, given, given the uproar that I saw about this, this is definitely still in. It's hooking back into the field of play. But obviously, I understand. You know, you watch something like this and you understand what's going through somebody's mind. Uh, you, you, you can see it. You're like, oh, he totally, he'd already programmed into his brain. Like you punch in the commands. Like, oh, the ball went out. I'm going to stop it. But it didn't. It very clearly didn't. It was hooking back in. Obviously, he didn't mean to just kick the ball with his foot. Did it have a massive effect on the game? No, but it did have an effect on the game. I mean, you're in the lines, right? There's only 23 dudes in those lines, including the referee. Those are the people that are involved in this game in terms of, you know, the ball and what's happening with the ball. You can't just start introducing more people. It's going to get ridiculous out here, right? Unless you're you're embracing my whole coach idea, because apparently all you get is a red card for this. But, I mean, this ball's in play. This ball is entirely in play, and the uproar to me makes absolutely no sense. But I will say, yesterday, reading all these tweets about a power-tripping ref that's handing out a red card to a manager when the ball's basically out, I had a mental image of the ball going directly out of play, and the manager, like, stops it on the line to give his team a quick restart. 
In which case, we can have a conversation because I am a big believer in the idea that in football and soccer, the ref's job is to keep control of the game, to make sure that the game is played in a proper way, but also to let the game flow. If the ball's sailing out of play and the ref, you know, and, and the manager stops it right as it's on the line, but it's clearly like, I mean, going straight out. That was my mental image of this. The ball is just going straight out. And, and the other thing that doesn't preclude this is like, obviously, this is a mistake. He thought the ball went out. The other manager, like they're clearly freaking out. Like this guy, this guy's this guy right here, losing his mind. I'm assuming that's the other manager. Could just be a really well disguised like streaker. But but just because he did it on accident doesn't mean it doesn't count. Like just because I lose the battle with my self control like once a week in order five guys doesn't mean the calories don't count because I didn't really mean it. You know, like I still you know, I'm still gaining the girth. Right, we're still adding to the waist size, J even though it was an accident, and I totally meant to order like an acai bowl. Every once in a while, the thumb slips and you hit three hamburgers. Like I, pff, every once in a while, dude, you, the brain just comes up with the wrong answer. You know, you put your leftovers in the cupboard, and you put the freaking dish, you know, like in in the in the fridge. Right, I I happened to me on stream the other day. Everyone, <laughs> I had a bag of trail mix or the you know some sort of healthy snack that definitely wasn't hamburgers or chocolate and I had a water and I'm looking at you guys talking to you on stream and I take my hand and thump, right into the water it doesn't mean the table didn't get wet just because I didn't want it to happen so he didn't want he didn't want to do this obviously but he did do it and then he gets a red card and you can see the ref the ref it, it, instead of the idea of this power tripping referee that I saw being discussed on Twitter this dude's like I mean watch this live he's like I have no choice I have absolutely no choice. Like, what do, you, what do you want me to do? He gives a shrug. Like, you just kicked the ball. It was hooking back in. It was in the whole time, and it was, like, traveling in the field. I mean, I, you have to get a red card for that. Then I think perhaps quite telling is that Carlos Corberan knows that he's done something wrong. I don't know why I'm not just hitting play. There you go. Like, he knows he's not. He knows he's not. He, he's, done, he's done something wrong. He's not over here like, oh, this is ridiculous. This is unbelievable. I can't believe they would make a call like this. A referee desperate for power and attention. He's just not. He's just not. Is the right call. If you don't make this call, uh, match fixing, ban the ref forever, clearly. The funniest part of this, though, is that for West Brom specifically, not only was this a very important match, Southampton's in third, West Brom's in fifth. They're both in the playoff position. Southampton's got a chance to finish in the top two, get promoted. Uh, West Brom's playing to stay in the playoffs. So this is a huge match that Southampton went on to win 2-0. But also, West Brom was just purchased. Not only were they just purchased, they were purchased by, like, the royal family of Tampa, the Patels. And I grew up in Tampa, so that was just weird for me to think about, you know, the Patels, that ever, you know, all that lore around the Patels in Tampa. I used to drive by their mega mansion all the time. It's on Del Mabry Highway in Tampa. Look to the right as you're going over, um, oh, what the, f uh, as you're going south to north and you go over Linebaugh, or line balls on your left. You look to your right. There's a Patel Mega Mansion. It's crazy. I'm not doxing them. It's the easiest thing to find in Tampa. I'm pretty sure you can see the damn thing from space. They just bought West Brom. They were at the game. <laughs> this is the first game they were at, dude. Can you imagine your first day on the job doing the equivalent of reaching for the trail mix and dunking your hand in water? Like you accidentally put your sandwich in the like in the shredder instead of the piece of paper you're holding in the other hand. That's what Carlos Corberan did in front of his new bosses in the first game. And these dudes are over here like, this idiot's our manager? Like, how, how, how have I inherited this? Now, I think Carlos Corberan's actually a pretty good manager, but, like, this is just, man, that is a rough time to have a brain fart. Is that a word? Is that a phrase that people still use? Because this is a brain fart. And don't trust the Internet's reaction to something. Watch it with your own two eyes. Because this is the most obvious red card of all time. I don't know how you could get Ben out of shape about it at all. But I don't, I don't want to single out Stokey too much because there's a lot of people. You just Google West Brown manager. You got, I don't care if it's a rule. The fact the, brand, the West Brown manager just got a red card for touching the ball, thinking it had gone out as a joke. doesn't matter if he thought it went out. We've covered that. What was the West Brown manager thinking with that? Exactly. Manager's already sent off. Yet West Brom's manager was sent off last night for kicking the ball on the line. This country is backward. You haven't admitted it was on the line. I mean... What's the ref supposed to do? If it's on the line, all of a sudden it's fair game. It's like, you know, 
the, the, on the line is between worlds. Like, you know, we're why you, but the ghosts and the real people can touch the ball. <laughs> oh, no way. I look, he should have gotten the red card. Don't believe Twitter. So there, this what this this video really wasn't that revealing. Because hopefully you didn't already believe Twitter, but just don't believe those reactions. See it with your own eyes, sheeple. Seek the truth, brother. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully Carlos is back soon and didn't get fired. Bye.